with our next speaker, uh, we're going back to Korea um, and meet the landscape architect, but also curator, artist, collective worker. He's doing a lot of different projects in the demilitarized zone in Korea. His name is Kyung Jin So. Um, he's based in Seoul and studied landscape architecture, completed his PhD in city and regional planning. He is uh, the Dean of the Graduate School of Environment Studies in Seoul and recently his artistic research themes such as landscape representation, memory, tourism and the observation of sites. And this is where we are also con very much um, connected to the last speech by Melanie Kreutz from Grünesband that memory, tourism, representation and um, the landscape preservation goes very much together uh, and is connected. Um, and he's especially now focusing more and more on the DMZ zone and shows um, the, the, the art projects happening on site internationally. Uh, soon enough, he's going to present it at the Venice Architecture Biennial, which is just opening this upcoming weekend. Uh, Kyung Jin So presents his personal experiences and memories related to the DMZ and will show other curatorial works and conclude by raising questions about possible future plans in relation to the demilitarized zone. Welcome, Mr. So. Good afternoon. And can you hear me? Yeah, can now we can me? hear you. Yeah, now we can hear you. There's a slight echo again. One moment. Can you say something again? Can you say something again? Hello. It's okay now? Yeah. Now it's perfect. Okay, good. Welcome. So thank you for your nice introduction and thank you for having me in this wonderful conference. And so I'm going to share my slide. And just one second. At the moment, we can't see it yet. Okay, just one second. Ah, there it is, yeah. We can okay. see it now. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, so, I'm going to talk about my own personal experience. And <clears throat> last in the 10 years, since the last 10 years, I've been working uh, several uh, landscape research or you know, landscape art project along the you know, borderline, which is DMZ. So you see this image. This image was you know by made by you know, American Army in 1953. So <clears throat> Korean War was suspended, not the ended. You no, know. it you know. Like you know, 68 years ago, this DMG was created, and then this span, like from the west to east, it takes 248 kilometer. The width is four kilometer. This you know huge land was preserved, and then many people today just talk about this place is full of you know place for reservoir for biodiversity. But on the other hand, you know, this ecosystem is heavily damaged by mines. There are full of mines and also uh, the armies, you know, just, you know, used fire in the, in the glass, you know, to clear the view. So, you know, in terms of ecosystem quality was not so good. It is in a partially and a heavily damaged one. So if you look at, uh, so I'm going to start my own you know, story and then every you know Korean man should serve military service for like you know, 
for my case, it's more than two years, but right now, you know, one and a half years. Some of them just, you know, went into DMZ area, and then I was one of them. And then more than two years, you know, I served as a kind of, you know, uh, army force in, in this, you know, very isolated in the military in the, you know, church. Eh? At that time, so I was feel lonely and also the DMZ was quite in dangerous places because, you know, there's, you know, political tension or military tension was, you know, quite intense at that time. So after I just, you know, discharged from military service, I never wanted to go to the, you know, DMZ. But it took a lot of time. And then in the 2010, I was, been, I was asked to work as a coordinator as a master planner of creating this migratory bird peace tower. Because, you know, you see these places, let me just in the pinpoint. I'm going to talk about, you know, my cases in Chalwan. This is in the middle of the DMZ. And then, you know, this place is, you know, full of a huge, right? Rice pier, paddy pier, and also some reservoir and river. This and also uh, this is civilian control line. So the you know access was not so good. So this place is quite you know terrain or you know not so many people in this place. There's a reason why many you know migratory bird came to here from the Siberia. So this is kind of, you know, irony. So this kind of unique and specific you know, condition just in the, made this place as, uh, you know, place for this kind of, you know, place for migratory bird. So if political condition has been, you know, improved, and then there might be some kind of, you know, Huge, huge possibility for this kind of you know, ecosystem will be endangered, and then there might be you no know, huge possibility. There's there will be no you know migratory bird in this place. That is very quite fragile condition. Anyhow, so I did some kind of you know planning you know project. You know you see this kind of you know many birds here, and then with this many specialists, like, you know, ecologist, architect, or some kind of, you know, bird specialist. So working with this kind of residence, we created some kind of good with, you know, bird, and then with this, you know, middle school, school you know, kids, we did a workshop. And then finally, so we remodel, you know, these old places, you know, elementary school to into migratory bird in a peace town. So I did this, this you know, this first in encounter to DMZ, you know, since I was discharged from the military service. And I also quite enjoy this kind of, you know, ecological tourism to see these beautiful cranes, you know, uh, over the paddy field. And then in 2016, and I just, you know, joined with this kind of lady. And then Kim Sun Jung is a curator, of artistic curator. And then he also came to interested in Charwan because there is full of you know special story in these places. And then we joined together. And then uh, before we joined together, 2006, you know, she, she started a real DMG project. It's kind of collaborative you know, effort to 
artists and academics join together. They produce some kind of various kinds of artwork or sometimes, you know, academic exchanges. And then they just, you know, had a kind of temporary artwork since 2012 to 16. And then, you know, this the real DMG project was sometimes, you know, we travel to outside the world, you know, country. In this Denmark, Aarhus, you know, we did, you know, special exhibition, traveling exhibition, and also a uh, special talk. And then <clears throat> our university as an institute for, you know, for uh, peace and reunification. And then, you know, with this many, you know, uh, diverse, you know, or many the academics like socialists and then artists come together in this building, you know, but in migratory board Peace Town. And then we did uh, several workshops to share our knowledge about DMG and share their own, you know, their own artwork like this. And then I started small, you know, small research project. In this Charwan area, you know, in in like 1930s, you know, there's a huge, you know, old town. But this was was totally, you know, dismantled, you know. We cannot see this kind of huge town right now. There's only a few remnant of ruins. So what that means, you know, in Korean world, heavy bombardment just, you know, just, you know, erase this kind of whole lost town, you know. And then, so there's a, some kind of fragment uh, information or some kind of fragment, you know, imperfect map about uh, these places. So we did some kind of anthropological research, you know, they are over 90s, you know, they have some memories. So we wanted to recreate our uh, place memory by this interview. So we wanted to uh, decompose, you know, old memory. And then this is kind of, you know, start of, you know, our landscape research. And then we did some kind of some information book about Charwan. And on the other hand, we start to another project, which is, you know, west part of the uh, Korean uh, peninsula. There's a small island, Gyodongdo. It's quite dear to the you know, north side, Hanghedo. And then this, this you know, Kwon Byung-jun is a you know, sound artist. He just worked together with our student. And then we collect this kind of, you know, some sound. And then also not only just kind of natural sound, we met some old people who was, you know, who is a kind of, you know, artist. He memory, he just memorized, you know, old style, you know, song of, you know, labor song from the nose. So there's many, you know, information about this kind of, you know, cultural landscape. So we collected and then we recreated in the, the gallery and then we did some kind of, you know, serious work. And also we produced some kind of research, research paper. And then one day, just, you know, Kim Sun Jung and I just talk about why don't we just you know, travel all observatory? So along the you know this you know east to, to west, you know, we have 15 observatory. The observatory was originally designed for like you know control tower, military control tower, but you know, as times go by, this came to be just you know changed into like tourist point you know, for security tourism. And later days have been changed into peace tourism. And this was just quite, you know, simple curiosity. So what 
what can I see over the, this, you know, uh, observatory? I just travel, you know, this area. It took you know, quite a long time, but uh, I can find many, you know, beautiful, untouched and wild landscape in our Korean Peninsula. This is Imjin-gang, it's west part of the you know, continent. Also, this travel has made me some kind of strange feeling, you know. It is more like, you know, pilgrimage. imaging. We have to report it, you know, beforehand, and then we have to permit, you know, like, you know, this kind of various, you know, permit signage. And then within this control line, every movement, movement was, you know, you know it's monitored. And then, so this was, was quite, you know, strange and then this thing, you know, you know, experience. But in the front, you know, this beautiful DMZ, I can see also in Dora Jammang, the Dora you know, Observatory, I can see clearly, you know, north side, you know, city and people, and then many natural landscape over the, um, this, you know, uh, this, you know, obstacle. And also this place is quite, you know, quite common in this kind of uh, observatory has more like, you know, the grammar of this place is more like, you know, simple, more like theater. In front, you can see quite unreal and surreal, you know, landscape of the DMZ. And also there's a small model and military, you know, uh, military just, you know, give us some uh, explanation about topography in front. And then this microscope just, you know, captures the, the north side view, but it, you know, it's quite close, but, you know, it is more like in remote, you know, it seems like, you know, there's a, some kind of deep barrier between north and south, you know, so look Looking at this kind of microscope is quite, you know, also uh, strange feeling for me. And also uh, by this, you know, artistic, you know, archiving, we did some kind of prepare some exhibition. It was in 2018 in Mindblow, Berlin, and then many, you know, German people came to have special interest in this kind of archiving and also this was done by another version of you know observatory you know project in korean culture uh, center and then in 2019 you know in this kind of special places you know old in you know, a railway station was transformed into cultural places and then kim sun jung and i and several, you know, curator did some kind of curator work, and then DMZ was, you know, you know, the theme of the exhibition. I was, you know, coordinating bio environment, and then I borrow this kind of beautiful herbarium from DMZ Botanical Garden. So I just, you know, this place by, you know. This place in from the west to east, you know. I just wanted to give them some kind of you know topographic information. So, you know, many people just came here was quite amazed by the beautiful landscape or beautiful just in the botany of this place, this DMZ. And also one of my colleagues just you know produced in you know, a three uh, in a botanical terrarium. And then this is west and the middle places, and then this is east. You know, we wanted to represent by, by you know, topological condition, and also observatory. We discovered some kind of you know variation by this kind of different you know, medium and different style, and then we just you know created this kind of leaflet because you know front side in the photo taking was not allowed to. We recreate by just, you know, using 
the word cloud drawing. And also, another exhibition was in you know, a DMZ rice, you know. Uh, in Taiwan, uh, rice paddy field is quite critical to these farmers. This, we just, you know, interview with many farmers. They have some kind of traumatic, you know, memory. You know, they were allowed to, you know, live there because, you know, they were, were allowed to cultivate the land. But, you know, you know, to cultivate this land, you know, they have to face it with, you know, clear of the mines, very dangerous mines. You know, some of them was their leg was gone, and then they have some kind of traumatic memory. And then we just, you know, carried in 20 people, farmers, story in this, you know, uh, rice, you know, packaging. And then many people just, you know, have some sympathy with this, you know, exhibition. So I, last year, I did some kind of series, another version of, you know, Charon landscape. And then many our art, many students joined together you know, with this, you know, uh, project. And then we did you know, some kind of various uh, variation on this exhibition. So if I have time, so I'm going to show you this kind of you know, small you know, exhibition in the, in the you know, bus. And then finally, so with this you know, <coughs> Herbarium project, we did some kind of traveling exhibition in London and Paris. And so this, this year, we were supposed to do some kind of you know, DMZ garden, but it was not realized by COVID-19. And then uh, right now in South Africa, you know, it was Kerfage Park, we did, you know, some kind of uh, exhibition of mine flower to representing, you know, very dangerous mine in this, you know, DMZ area. So this exhibition is still going on up to this July. So if you have time, so you can just, you know, go into the you know, website. And then finally, you know, I'm going to wrap up you know, my thought, you know. So I'm still just, you know, uh, very pessimistic, not so positive and optimistic in the future. And then there's strong desire for like development or development desire. So this very fragile to preserve this kind of beautiful uh, migratory reservoir or land. Now, there might be probably you know, some change in the future. Then, then how are we going to you know, preserve this kind of beautiful, fragile landscape? So even in our, you know, like, you know, our uh, some kind of, you know, right now, so many just politicians wanted to change this beautiful land to accommodate some kind of tourist, you know, purposes. Also, this beautiful landscape or topography will be, was preserved by this irony of, you know, division. But, you know, in front of this, you know, uh, ruins, we wanted to, we also created like, ungenuine, unauthentic place, tourist places. So it is very you know, difficult to preach up this kind of authentic places. This beautiful Imjin uh, River, uh, we, I wanted to preach up this area, but it is still you no know, barrier or obstacles and hurdles to tackle to preserve this area. So still there is many, you know, military, you know, scar, you know, this kind of 
dragon teeth was still there in Pengyongdo, and also there's tens and tens of millions of mine scatters within the DMZ or along the DMZ area town. And then there's many people still care, however, care and about DMZ, you know, one of the famous, you know, artist Ipan has uh, has you know, personal traumatic experience. And his father was went away to the north, and then he just f is focusing on DMZ project. And also, uh, you know, Danish art artist also created one two three three in Dora Dora, you know. Observatory, and then many artists, just interesting artists, you know, like you, and then quite interested in this DMG award, the future of DMG. It is quite momentum to, to keep our, our project going on. And finally, and then many people just, you know, lost their own hometown and then came to the, in the south, still stick to just you know, looking at the nose and then my father was also had a you know, hometown the nose and came to Korea, came to the you know, south and then he also just you know anxiously you know just wanted to you know visit the nose but you know it was not able to do this and and then this kind of you know facing North Korea was also just came to us and you know engaging in gazing practice you know you know gazing means you know not only just looking at the nose you know it our you know the sight just in you know, came back to our inner thought and you know, then uh, what would be the future and then we in this kind of you know in Chinese character in idea of jammang de. Jammang means, you know, has a prospect. And then not only looking at the, you know, in front, you know, we, it also meaning as I know, looking at the future. And then what is, you know, our future, you know, in future overview, and then what is our vision? So this, this is a topic we should think together Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Professor Zhou. These were... Um, okay. You hear me? Okay. Uh, thank you very much for speaking. I have a huge few questions. I need to confess also that after your talk and after these very impressive and personal images, I um, need to confess that I'm, uh, I'm sad to see how difficult it is to um, overcome borders that are physically there. It needs to have so much political attention and so much work. And I very much appreciate the hope that you put into your projects and make people understand how complex and diverse and difficult these, uh, difficult these tasks are for the people living north and south of Korea. Because we're talking, of mm -hmm. course, now of a very intense complexity when we think about the German border, which is not there anymore, and the Korean border, which is actively there. Um, mm -hmm. What I find interesting in connecting both of your initiatives together is exactly that meeting point. Um, you look mm -hmm. at nature, and within looking mm -hmm. at nature, you also look at the history of the people being grown up in the area, and you try to connect these mm -hmm. in collective practices which I think that both of you, the European Green Belt project, as well as the as your projects, Mr. Zo, are trying mm -hmm. to apprehend. Um, like, uh, I have one question for, um, uh, for the, for the, for, uh, sorry, <laughs> need to, for Mr. Zo, um, you talked a lot in your projects about tourism and that also, of course, every impact of tourism also is an impact on the natural mm. sites around it. When we had a meeting earlier, mm. we were discussing a little bit about this future perspective and I'm very interested um, how you tackle this because as soon as there's more human impact in the area, also the, 
the regions for the animals is um, is threatened in a way. And this is kind of this complex that we're talking and discussing about today. How are we within this world? How can we behave? How can we make projects around it? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I would like to hear your perspective on that for the future projects, um, for the touristic area yeah. at the DMZ. Mm -hmm. uh, and realistically, and then I'm not so optimistic in the future of DMZ. And then uh, Kim, you know, Professor, you know, uh, Kim Song Ho, you know, just, you know, talk about, you know, some special, you know, value of biodiversity, but, you know, it is quite uh, difficult and then quite, you know, you know huge task for us to preserve DMZ as it is because, you know, if political situation was, you know, uh, improved, that there is so many, you know, there might be so many strong desire for development. And then, you know, by the name peace tourism, then many, you know, government also have, you know, also driving force to develop, you know, DMZ or, you know, nearby settlement along the DMZ. So, so you know, in terms of scientific view, you know, it, we need to preserve it as it, as it, as it you know, but in, you know, in realistic point of view, it is quite, you know, uh, difficult, you know, to just in you know, preserve it, it is, you know. So tourism might be like, you know, tricky word, you know. So many people talk about peace tourism might be another alternative, but under the, you know, name of peace tourism, many, you know, development or just kind of, you know, uh, like, you know, anti, just, you know, preservation activity will be, you know, uh, go on. That's the problem. So we need kind of special wisdom to tackle these issues. And then I would like to ask um, one more question also to um, Professor Gaitesis. When I say, or Dr. Gaitesis, when uh, we think about memorial sites at the Green Belt and uh, a lot of um, histories um, that come from human narration, oral histories, and so on, is it hard to um, like think about nature on the one hand and think about um, the human histories on the other hand? Like, how do you make decisions for a sustainable preservation? You have already talked about a huge and wide network of different activists, but also people who are voluntarily um, helping ecologists, scientists, and you bring this network together, which is a huge, um, uh, under, uh, over like, um, huge overtaking, I think. Um, I wonder um, how you, for example, think about the future perspective of the DMZ. Is there something like an exchange between organizations, between the European Green Belt, for example, <coughs> And the DMZ area, is there um, a global exchange around these topics? Um, yes, I hope you can hear me. Yes. Um, yes, there's already an exchange with the Korean DMZ and with, the, with, with colleagues in, in Korea. Um, as uh, Bernhard Seliger pointed out this morning, we had a first meeting in 2005. It was in Jakarta. Uh, and we first met uh, Korean colleagues, and uh, since then we are cooperating with, uh, with a lot of uh, Korean colleagues on DMZ and uh, German Greenbelt. And um, but uh, till now, of course, because it's very difficult with uh, colleagues from no North Korea, and now we have until now we cooperating with colleagues from South Korea. But we we hope that maybe in the next one, two years, we are, will be also able to have some colleagues from North Korea, for example, in Germany, and showing them the inner German green belt and what we are doing there. 
and that the, so that the DM set uh, will be also protected in future, not destroyed and damaged by infrastructure or strong tourism or anything else. Thank you. It's amazing to see how uh, there is like on a global range these interactions on such a such a such a level. Uh, it's very interesting to see. Thank you very much for sharing. We're gonna need to continue now with the next speaker.